Good morning, welcome to the Handyman 406. My name is Kerry Martin. Anyways, we're just gonna jump right into it here. And uh, okay, so <clears throat> I've got these couple pieces of copper here that I've cut out, drilled some holes in, and we're gonna need to attach it to our wind generator. Now, um, it's gonna be important that we isolate these electrically from the frame. And uh, we're gonna show you how to do that right now. So I just got some plastic off of the back of a, uh, what is it, talking tube. This will make a great insulator. Okie dokie, let's see how we did here. <clears throat> of course you have to test for continuity. <clears throat> Make sure it's not grounded out to the frame. That's going to be really an important deal. And uh, looks like we've accomplished that. As I was putting this thing in there, I kind of, you know, there wasn't much room in there. And I sort of just kind of felt where center was because you don't want this, you know, any part of this nut touching the copper and the steel at the same time. Actually, ideally, you'd want like a sleeve. Maybe I'll get one in the future. You know, like a sleeve for the inside of the bolt. So if this thing shifted, which I'm sure in time it will, um, it won't ground out. So, anyway. And uh, it looks like this might be a little long, so I'm going to cut that off right now. All right, well, it was just easier to just fold it over. Um, well, it took me a second. Anyways, what do we need? A couple more of these babies. Probably be easier just to buy some nylon washers and a nylon sleeve but in the spirit of just using whatever around the house this is what we have so Okay, we have some continuity there, so that ain't gonna work.
Bingo. Yeah, we drilled it out on the other alternator, but we forgot to do it on this one. Okay, there we are. And we got everything backwards. It's all right. All right, well, <clears throat> you know, I had originally made this repair on this rotor, and um, I wasn't happy with it at all. I just got to thinking about it. That hot glue is going to break down with heat. It's not going to work. I'm going to have to redo that one. But in the meantime, um, I've got this one. And instead of hot glue, I'm just going to go ahead and use some CA. And I think that will hold up a lot better to the heat. This one had the exact same problem. I had to repair it in the exact same way. And, you know, anyways, the main concern here is the, uh, is the, uh, centrifugal force, you know, taking over and, and pulling this thing out of whack. So, so just a few seconds after hitting it with the accelerator, hard as a rock. I think that's going to hold up much better than what I had. So, you know, the other thing is too, uh, wouldn't hurt to give it just that bearing in there a shot of some lithium and uh ooh, talk about getting it everywhere oh well that so do anyways i just wanted to point something out i i made a really big mistake on my last video um this was this was the wire that was actually connected between here to there and then i connected a wire from here to here well that all that did was tie this in. This bolt here actually goes back to the positive. And so the alternator would have just been turned on all the time. And that's not what we were going for. We were going for the, for the, um, the ability to switch it on and off um, as the wind blows. So anyways, um, I disconnected this wire from this wire and then just hooked it from here to here. This, is, this remains the ground. So that's my ground, that's my positive. Anyways, if you watch my previous video, I'm this is All a right, revision. So this is what you want. You want to make sure when you test this thing, you have continuity between ground right here against the case. Well, I have continuity here too, but this is straight continuity. This will actually read a certain amount of ohms. That's just an open circuit. There's no ohms on my meter right now. I know you can't see that. But through here, it's going through the coil. I'm getting about 8.3 ohms. On here, it's almost zero. So, and that's what you want because, and you don't want any continuity at all between here and here or here let me see. Eh, I hate not having a... And here and here. You want no continuity between those two points either. All right. Okay, so all that garbage just to show you this. Anyways, we've got this one. It's wired to the field. This one's wired to the hot. The wire that's coming up out of here from the wind generator tower 
will be the hot and it will go here. I'll show you that in a minute. We'll get the blade on it, see how this puppy works. Well, all right, we got her up there. There just doesn't seem to be much of a wind right now. It's just a little blustery, a little, it's kind of coming from every direction. But my guess is probably won't have decent wind to make that thing work for two weeks now that I got it up there. It's been blowing 60 miles an hour for the last couple days. But uh, I don't know, it might pop off. It's starting to go. Let's just see if we can catch it. Now, no, not quite. Anyways, that's it for today. We have it all hooked up, but who knows when wind's gonna come. And uh, so I'll get you a video as soon as I can get it on the performance of this thing and uh, show you guys some real world stats. Yeah, I'm looking out there now and it's starting to, starting to go. Actually, it's going on now. Got a little bit of wind. Nope, not gonna. Anyways, the wind finally picked up a little bit and uh, looks like it's working. I can see it closing the contacts. I, it's probably hard to see from here. Oh well, it's hard to see from the camera because I don't have a freaking zoom lens. I'm standing behind my building here too so the wind doesn't blow the microphone out. But, uh, you know, just a little gust of wind pop up. I can tell right off the bat, I got the geometry on that a little bit off. It looks like the, the alternator is a little bit low to the hinge. It should be a little higher up to the hinge. It's bowing the tower, but it just, I feel like it's having to blow too hard in order to make it work. Um, so I might have to add a little spring to give it a little bit of an assist. Um, I'd like it to kick in a little bit earlier than it's doing. Um, but other than that, it seems to be working fine. Anyways, hey man, thanks for, uh, thanks for watching and uh, stay tuned because uh, we're going to get this thing dialed in. We're going to get some stats for it. So you guys are going to want to check that out. Please, if you like my channel, feel free to subscribe. Hit that like button. If you have any questions, put them in the comments.